differential bushings are KDT934. Welcome back YouTube to Fat Guy Builds. Today we're doing some white line independent rear suspension mount bushing inserts. And I'll show you what that is when we get back here. Here's what comes in the kit. You have four bushings. They're marked front and rear. And then all the other hardware. Since we need to get to these bushing insert areas, we're going to make our life easier. We're going to remove the axle back exhaust from here back. Support the subframe with a jack or jack stands or these pole stands, whatever you got. To do the rear two bushings, I didn't have to touch this front mount on either side. It tilted enough. To get to these bushings, we need to lower them a little to put these front ones in. So I loosen this bolt, left it in, a few threads. I'm holding it right here on both sides. And then I have both sides loosened. All right, so use the 18 millimeter and remove. Uh, I'm gonna do one side at a time. So this one, we're going to remove this side first, put the insert, and then move to the other side. Get a washer. I'm gonna pop this in the bottom. Then you're gonna take the longer of the two sets of bushings, the longer one, slide it in. Then you're gonna use a small washer and you're gonna install it this way. Take the lube that they have, and you're gonna put the lube all around the sides. Make sure you don't make a mistake like I did. It needs the big washers on the back, not the small one. It's the big washer and the short dowel pin. The short, short dowel pin goes here, the long dowel pin goes in the front. All right, so these guys at White Line think that you're gonna be able to push this in with that installed, right? But what happens is as soon as you put any pressure on the outside by physically putting it in, this washer just pops out. And so there's no way to get this in to the back of the car. You can't, you can't put it in and then push it here without it popping out halfway install. It's fucking stupid. Once you get it threaded back in, just don't forget to uh, put blue Loctite or any Loctite on the bolt before you put it in. Torque it to 130 foot-pounds. Now we're gonna work on the front diff bushings and in order to do that, we need to tilt down the front of the front of the rear suspension. So you're gonna pull out these 13 millimeters first and then a 21 millimeter is what you're gonna use to remove this front bolt. To do these front dip bushings is gonna be more of a pain. And you have to pretty much tilt this down as much as possible. So what we're gonna do here is I already loosened the front, right and left subframe bolts. And now I'm gonna to have to loosen the rears to get it to tilt more. And then that way we can actually access in here. Remove and replace the stock front bolts here. Uh, one at a time with the new hardware. People were saying loosen the subframe. No, no, no. Yeah, I had to take it all the way out just to get enough room to get in here. And then uh, put the small uh, dowel pin, the short one, and then the one that says front. And then we're going to put this back in. And this one's only going to get torqued down to, I believe, it's 35 foot pounds. All right, so these are done now. Remember, big washer, long dowel, short bolt. And uh, I had to pry a little bit here to get this side in. And then I obviously used a box wrench to tighten them. So you're gonna need to buy some stuff for this. I had to buy a 22 millimeter short socket, 21 millimeter short socket, 22 millimeter uh, box wrench. So think about that. Now, it's time to put the bolts back in the side and uh, try to center this up as much as possible because 
the whole subframe moves this much when you uh, on all four corners. So I'm gonna next video probably I'm gonna buy the centering dowels, and those are dowel pins that go in here that center the whole subframe. So let's put it back together. All right, YouTube. I do not suggest you do this by yourself without another uh, buddy, male human, to uh, use the pry bar for you. Because uh, doing it by yourself is, I mean, look at me, I'm fat and well, I guess I sweat all the time since I'm fat, but you'd be sweating too. So, bring your buddy, uh, bring a nice pry bar, and you'll be all right. Uh, if you're gonna do it by yourself, it's like five out of five hard. If you had a buddy, probably two and a half, three out of five. It's just pretty time consuming. And then trying to get the uh, rear end line back up the way it was, which you're never gonna do. Um, so I'm gonna order the dowel pins, the centering dowel pins for this uh, independent rear suspension before I get my alignment, but you need to get an alignment after this job, you have to. Uh, period. No other way around it. Um, yeah. So, till next time. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos that aren't about the Mustang and wrench on.